the Red Rum Handicap Chase is next, and this is a two mile handicap chase, and it'll be lickety split, no hanging about. It's a grade three handicap, and the top one is Moir Lesciotto for David Robertson. Distance took for Craig Allen, five points for Darren Thompson, Golden Air System, Craig Allen, Nightstar, Ryan Costello, Cyphrate, John Morgan, Duchess Lancelot, Paul Rhodes, Green Wizard, Craig Beckwith, Coco Bell, John Morgan, Hightown, Darren Thompson, Mandrake Root, a winner last two times out, including the Grand Annual at Cheltenham last week for Martin Leadham, the Grey Teller, Ryan Costello, Brilliant Melody, Alex Cherry, Little Dean, Guidance, James Shea, Cashback, David Hooley, What Mavro, David Robertson, Evelith, Carter, James Shea, Lexington Bark, Vinnie Gerard, Fiorentis, Diamond, Paul Rhodes, Portland Daydream for Vinnie Gerard, and Tin Pot Boris for Graham Clutterbuck. So 21 of them then in this good big size field for a good big handicap chase. That's what we like to see, and away they go. Although starting on this bend, one or two trainers might be holding their breath to see where their horse is because it might lose a few lengths on the outside as they get down to the first then of the 11 fences, which they all safely get over. And Coco Bell is the early leader for John Morgan with Little Dean Guidance in second place, then Brilliant Melody third, and a little gap to Moile Otto fourth, and then a gap of two lengths to the rest of them are all in a bit of a heap, a whole heap of greys in that group as well as they get to the second and we see them from long distance getting over it looking towards the back high town just about the back marker but Coco Bell is in the lead and we're so far away from them all that I need more binoculars to see the screen but it's Coco Bell in front from Brilliant Melody in the second and Little Dean Guidance is third as they get over the next and they're all safely over that one the grey cypherates moved into fourth and last week's Cheltenham winner of Mandrake Root is fifth and while Otto is on the near side Cashback is also in that little route, the one that's widest on the track is Golden Eye of System as we lose them behind a video screen and see them over the fence. It'll be the last on the next time, on the next circuit then. And Coco Belt is the clear leader as we watch them from the cheap seats and leads by two lengths to Little Dean Guidance in second and then Brilliant Melody and Cypherate and then Wileshi Otto after that one with Nightstar and Cashback and then Mandrake Root and then Duchess Lancelot and Green Wizard and then what Mavro. It's like 1970s ITV7 coverage because they've only got one camera and it's too far away. <laughs> it's Coco Bell in the lead from Little Dean Guidance in second. And then Cypherate is third with Brilliant Melody fourth. And then Moile Otto and Cashback. Then comes Night Star, the second of the greys with the maroon jacketed Mandrake Root. And the red drum colours, which is always good to see racing around Liverpool. And now we're getting close up. Uh, we're going over number five and they right on top of them, and it's Coco Belt with Little Dean Guidance second, Cypherate third, and then Brilliant Melody fourth. Bit of a gap then to Mandrake Root and Moileshi Otto as they take number six. And there's a faller there, and it's Moileshi Otto that's gone. So David Robertson's having some real bad luck with his jumpers of late. Another faller as they get over number seven then. And Coco Bell is clearing. There's another faller there. The Grey Teller's gone. So Coco Bell's in the lead then, beginning to swing now towards the final five furlongs and the final four fences. And it's Coco Bell in the lead from Little Dean Guidance in second and Cypherate third. Over the fourth last they go. Mandrake Root and Brilliant Melody are next. Then what Mavro and Nightstar trying to run then cashback difficult to see anything else getting into it from this point but they might do and they're racing down towards the final three fences then and Coco Bell's kicked on for home Coco Bell has gone six lengths clear being chased by a pack of greys Cypherate the first one of them over the third last they go and it's Coco Bell in the lead from Little Dean Guidance who's now moved through into second here comes Mandrake Root what Mavro on the outside and on the inside Cypherate John Morgan's got a 1-2 at the moment Coco Bell and Cypherate with what Mavro making a third one of the next one they get over the second last and it's Coco Bell in the lead from Cypherate. This is the John Morgan 1 2. Matt Watt Mavro is back in third. Mandrake Root is fourth. These are clear. They're racing down towards the final fence there now in the Red Rum handicap chase. And it's Coco Bell in the lead. Looks like she's only got to jump it. Coco Bell coming down towards his final fence. Steps off and then gets over it nicely. The second horse is Watt Mavro, then Cypherate, and then Mandrake Root and racing towards the line. It's going to be Coco Bell that takes it. Then Watt Mavro, Cypherate, Mandrake Root. Brilliant Melody, Little Dean Guidance, and Cashback. Then Evil if Kyle. And one or two of them never really got a mention throughout the race. But it was a win for John Morgan. When they stand up, they run well. And he's got a first and a third in this one. So Coco Bell takes it for John Morgan. What Mavro for David Robertson was second. Cypherate for John Morgan again was third. Mandrake Root for Martin Leader in the red room colours would have been a perfect winner for this race, wouldn't it? But happy enough to be fourth. Brilliant melody for Alex Cherry was fifth.